everybody, welcome back to my video here on Wireshark and its title bar. Yeah, so let me start Wireshark very quickly. And what you will see is that when Wireshark starts up, it has basically nothing in the title bar up here. It just says the Wireshark Network Analyzer. Now that is if you are in your default profile. But you can change what it says up here. And this can be very handy, and I'll talk about the use cases for this in a minute. What I noticed when, let me close this, when I was using GNS3, which I do a lot of, GNS3 is a, a graphic network simulator that allows you to build topologies and configure routers and switches and stuff like that. Um, and then you can also do packet capture. So let's say I hover on this interface. You can see the interface is turned red and I right click here and say start a capture. What's going to happen is that Wireshark starts up and it's actually capturing the traffic that's on that interface, which there isn't very much right now. But this is the part that I got interested in. Look at this. It says CE1 Fast Ethernet 00 to PE1 Fast Ethernet 00 up here in the title bar. So if I stop capturing, that information remains there. And I was fascinated by this. I was like, wow, that's really cool that they've changed the title bar in Wireshark. And I was like, well, how did they do this? Because I would like to do that for the same reason. And this is the use case I was talking about, is that this now becomes obvious where this capture was done on that network topology. So what if I could customize that Wireshark title bar to give me key information, things like date and time and other stuff that would really help me when I'm saving my packet captures and when I'm using them to you know, differentiate one capture from another. As those of you who know who do a lot of captures, this can get very confusing. So that's where I saw it. And it took a little bit of digging around, a little bit of research to figure out what was going on. So let me show you. Okay, so I'm going to close this actually. I've got a little fan spinning in the background because I've got so many things going on my computer. So let's close all of this down. And um, let's now take a look at Wireshark. So I'm in my default profile. Now you may want to create a new profile here when you're modifying this information. So I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to right click down here and I'm going to say manage profiles. If you're interested in all of these profiles that I use, make sure that you go to the link above where you can learn more about Wireshark profiles and where to download all of these profiles that I have. <laughs> so please use them. All right, so we're going to create a new one from the default. Okay, I'm going to copy the default and I'm going to say default with modified title bar. Okay, and I'm gonna say okay. All right, so now I've got a new profile. I'm not actually modifying my default. It starts with the default, of course, and all the features that were in default. And you can do this with any profile, of course. Du basically, it's a duplication and then an edit. So let's go in and figure out how do we change this title bar? Now you can see the, the default behavior, of course, is just to say the Wire, Wireshark Network Analyzer. So what you do is you go to Edit Preferences, okay? And then you go to Advanced. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have never, well, maybe you've looked at this, but you've never really messed with this. The truth is, look at this slider. There are so many things here you can easily get lost. And you've gotta be very careful with this. But what we're going to do is we're going to look for the word window. So do a search for window, okay, the word window. Now in here, you will see that one of the options right there is gooey.window underscore title, okay? And this is a default and it's a string and you can see that right here, it has no information. So you can double click in the value area and you can change something. Like you could say, let's make this Andy's Wireshark and say, okay. And what we will do if we open up a packet capture like this one, you can see it says, right? There's the name of the file. And it says now Andy's Wireshark. 
Okay. Now, I don't know if that would be very useful. It's pretty cool. It, it, it you know, maybe inflates your ego, but other than that, right, that would be pretty useless. So let's go back now and actually make this pretty useful. So again, we go to Edit Preferences, go to the Advanced, look for Window, and that will lessen the list. And then right there, we have the GUI window title. And remember, we change it to Andy's Wireshark. Now, what we're going to do here is I'm going to paste into there a configuration. Let's put it in there and then we'll take a look at it. So you can see there are variables that we can use, like percent %V is a Wireshark version, and then there's things like the profile is percent %P, and then the path is percent %F. So now that I've added that, and I would encourage you to use this or modify it the way you want, and I'll say OK, and now look at this, right? We get a name of the profile, right here, default with modified title bar, that's our profile. We get a path as to where this particular capture is, and we get the Wireshark version that we're using currently when we are examining this packet capture. So the point here is that I've got all this great reference information right here in the title bar, so that in future, if I've done a screenshot or if I've done some sort of report to a customer or created a customer record, this information has been preserved. And it, and it will also tell me, of course, exactly where that capture file is, which would be very helpful to me perhaps in the future. So this makes now the Windows title bar, and this, by the way, works in, in Mac and it works in Linux as well. It makes this much more useful as a title bar, and I think just adds to the functionality of Wireshark. So that's how you change the title bar within Windows or within Wireshark in whatever program you're using so that you can get more and important information displayed to you. I hope you find this really useful and I hope it helps you because what I always recommend with any type of Wireshark usage is to capture every day. Thanks for watching.